Hello there, Level 3 candidates, and welcome to our update on the postponed CFA exams for the June 2020 sitting. So this little update is going to respond to the information that was released by the CFA Institute on the 4th of May. Now, you should have received an email from the Institute detailing the options that are available to you and talking about re-registering for the exam. In fact, Level 3 candidates are going to be invited to re-register by test area throughout the week. Now, all that simply means is not every geographical area is registering for the deferred exams at the same time. And this is simply to prevent the CFA Institute's booking engines uh, being overwhelmed. So if you haven't actually got the invite to re-register just yet, no need to panic. So two options are going to be available to you, the December 2020 uh, sitting or the June 2021 sitting. And both of those are testing the 2020 curriculum. So even if you do decide to defer into June of 2021, you will be tested on the 2020 curriculum. The 2021 curriculum is actually being deferred off into 2022. So if you go for the December exam, uh, notice that if you're in Europe, Middle East and Africa or the Americas, then you'll be sitting on Saturday, December the 5th. If you're in the Asia Pacific uh, region, then that is Sunday, the 6th of December. Defer it to June 2021 and then all geographical regions will be taking the exam on June the 5th. What do we recommend? Well, we do recommend that if possible, uh, you take the December the 5th, 2020 examination. The big reason for doing this is because if you were unlucky and you didn't pass the level three exam, you would be able to reset on June the 5th, 2021 and still be tested on the same syllabus. Whereas if you defer until the 2021 sitting, if you fail that on June the 5th, then the next time you're sitting it is going to be uh, in 2022 and the syllabus will have changed. So it's best to do December the 5th uh, examination because you get two chances to be tested on the, uh, the same syllabus without it changing. Now, of course, do be aware that you can only take this deferment option into December if you were already registered for the 2020 exam. So if you're sitting there and thinking, I hadn't registered for this, this, uh, June 2020, can I now take the December the 5th exam for level three? Unfortunately, the answer is no. So it's only available for people that were registered for that uh, June 2020 exam. So we say take the December the 5th. Why? Well, number one, retention and momentum of your studies. If you're going to defer until 2021, then really there's going to be almost a year and a half between starting your studies and actually testing. Very difficult to remember the information over that period. And it's very difficult to keep the enthusiasm going, keep the momentum of your studies going. So we think do the exam as soon as possible. And the earliest possible date, of course, is 5th of December. Also, just be aware, June 2020, all testing locations are going to be available. So normally in the December exam, it's only available at level one. And essentially, they have limited testing centers. That's not going to be the case because we've got these extraordinary uh, circumstances where all three levels will be tested in December and they will be trying to run those in all testing uh, locations available. OK, now, again, other big reason for doing it in December, as we said, is if you were unlucky and you didn't pass that level three exam, uh, then, of course, you have another chance of resitting on June the 5th, 2021, using the same syllabus. So as a support, um, so your online products will automatically extend to 31st uh, of December. OK, so that's all of the online platform that you use with your studies, the videos, the online QBank, etc. All of that will automatically extend to 31st of December. So if you're going to take that December exam, there's no need to get in touch with us. All of that is automatic. Now, if you do want to defer until 2021, then you're going to need to email us specifically to extend your product's life. OK, now, if you're going to email us, please put CFA 2021 in the emails title and email to staff at catplan.com and tell them that you're going to defer until 2021. And they will arrange for those products uh, to continue into the 2021 season for you. Uh, you'll get an, a response from our team. Typically, we're again, we're working under uh, social isolation and with re re reduced team now. So at the moment, it's taking about 48 hours uh, to respond. 
Now, again, please put CFA 2021 in your email title. That'll be make it easier for us to spot your email, OK, and respond to it. So it will shorten the uh, turnaround for us if we can actually uh, find your email. Just as well, just be aware that those masterclasses are going to be running from June to October. Now, if you're an existing CFA uh, Swayze candidate, then you'll automatically uh, be enrolled in the masterclasses and they'll appear on your uh, learning management system on the online platform. If you're a non Swayze customer, well, we are going to make those masterclasses available to you. Uh, and you can see you can register for those masterclasses using uh, the link detail uh, on the slide. So here we are, we've just got to the beginning of May. So all of the 15 week tuition programs have now uh, wrapped up pretty much. And we're into the period May to June, which we've really uh, uh, said catch up and rest. So again, if you're seriously behind on your studies, use the period May to June to try and catch up. If you feel that you're in a pretty good place, you've studied all of the topic areas, then put your feet up for a little while. You deserve it. You deserve it. Have a little month off before we uh, start in that masterclass phase. So you can see the masterclasses are uh, running from June through to the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, end of September. OK, and there will be one every two weeks. The idea here is they're going to combine a bit of revision. So they're going to use our review material, the mind maps, and then we're going to apply directly to uh, to exam standard questions. And you can see there's the list of the nine masterclasses for level three. So we're going to start off with constructed response questions. OK, and look at an institutional investment example. Talk about how to go about answering constructed response, the essay portion of the level three exam. And we're going to touch on a little bit of behavioral finance in uh, in that uh, masterclass. Second masterclass, behavioral finance and capital market expectations. Again, looking at an overview using my maps and then drilling down into some exam standard questions. And you can see, therefore, the, the list of all nine masterclasses. And as I said, available automatically if you're a Swayze customer. If you're not a Swayze customer, you can still register for the masterclasses. They run up until October. Once we get into October, then our review phases are running as normal. Um, OK, so that will be online review. In terms of classroom based reviews, again, we're still trying to organize that in terms of venues, in terms of tutor availability, etc. And then there's your exam on uh, early December. So that's the fifth or the sixth, sixth if you're in Asia Pacific. OK, so look forward to seeing you in those masterclasses. Just wanted to update you on the latest information from the CFA Institute. Please stay safe uh, and good regards.